So, uh, okay, so welcome to a presentation of how to use the Play Store and the App Store. So uh, these are uh, these are the key points we will be talking about. Um, and so let's introduce what is the Google Play Store and what is the App Store. So Google Play Store is the Android version to find and install applications. Say like you wanted to download, say, Spotify or maybe maybe something along those lines. On Android phones, you would use Google Play Store, originally called as Android Market. Uh, where can you find the Play Store? Well, you see this icon here, right? This icon, that is the Play Store. Uh, in Once you click on that in your phone or your tablet, uh, you, you will be sent to an application where you can install and uh, download uh, download apps of all sorts. So Google Play Store will be pre-installed in all Android Android devices. Uh, doesn't matter if they're Samsung, Google, uh, Xiaomi, or any other Android phone. They will they will be pre-downloaded because they because without Play Store, uh, if you don't have Play Store down downloaded, then you can't download other applications on your phone. Now, what is App Store? So for all of the iPhone users here, App Store must be more familiar. Here, uh, here in the App Store, we uh, basically in iOS or an iPad or iPad OS and Mac OS, or basically any Apple device, you use iOS, uh, you use App Store to find and download apps of your choice. So what what is the Apple uh, ISO SDK? So I, iOS SDK me, means the iOS Software Development Kit, formerly known as the iPhone Software Development Kit. It, it's a software made by a, Apple, Apple Incorporated. The, this kit allows for, for development of mobile games, uh, mobile games, mobile, for, mobile applications, and other, dev, other applications on the on devices such as your iPhone or your uh, MacBook. So what's the difference between App Store and Apple Store? So App Store is for all the iPhone, uh, for all the Apple device users, including iPhone, uh, iPad, Macs, Apple TV, and Apple Watches. Um, Google, uh, Apple Stores, uh, Apple Stores are the online retails where Apple, sells their products. So App Store is where you can find all of the applications, say Spotify, to download onto your Apple devices. And an Apple Store is where you can buy those Apple products. Say you wanted to buy like an iPhone, where you would buy the iPhone on the Apple Store. So let, let's do a little bit of history class here. So uh, the App Store was launched on July 10th, 2008. It, it originally had five over five, only 500 apps you could download. Uh, and as you can see, their logo also um, evolved over time. Uh, while well as if once Apple got more and more popular, more apps started to be made on the App Store and you could download them. Well, Google Play Store is something uh, something of similar uh, familiar, but it's more popular. So the Google Play Store was originally called the Android Market, as you can see here, uh, under that logo in October of two thousand eight. But, but as uh, as Android became more and more popular in two thousand twelve of March, they re decided to rename it as Google Play or App Store. So some security tips. Uh, these are the four com four most common scams on Google Play Store, which you should never do. First of all, gift card fraud. Scammers po posing as government agencies utilize uh, util utility companies or tech support demand payments via Google Play uh, gift cards. Those are just uh, those are just straight up scams. No one will ask you payment from gift cards. Fake apps. These apps bypass security restrictions and spam users with ads and phishing attempts. 
So they basically, once you download them, they can they can like breach your uh breach your uh Android's security systems. Or even in Apple cases, it also breaches uh, breaches your security systems. Online shopping scams, fraudulent online stores or social media pages may offer heavily discounted products, but only accept payment through Google Play gift cards. The, these are also scams. Never, never pay. Uh, when someone asks for payment through gift cards, those are usually scams. Finally, phishing websites. Scammers create fake websites that mimic legitimate Google Play uh, pages to steal Google Play pages to steal user information. So app store scams to look out for. Impersonations. Apps that mimic popular and legitimate apps hoping to trick users into downloading them. Subscription ta uh, traps. Fake apps try to su sign users up for expensive subscriptions through misleading descriptions. Pop-ups, fake pop-up messages claiming security issues or asking for account information. Credit card theft, malicious apps may collect credit card information for fraudulent purposes. Finally, how to use the Play Store. So first open up your phone and look for this icon. Then use the search bar to find the app or content you want, such as maybe a music or a game or a book or etc. Once you have found it, um, if free, you can click install. If paid, you have to follow the instructions. So what? So when you open the open the Play Store and you type in whatever uh, application you want to use, you click install for the free ones, and for the ones that say paid, you got to you have to pay. Click on the price and then uh, follow the instructions for for you to get the app. On the app stores, similar to Play Stores, uh, but there might be a few discrepancies. First, open your phone and look for this icon, this icon here. Then use the search bar to find the app or content you want. Once you have found, if free, you can click install. If paid, follow the instructions. And in the most recent phones, you have to also, um, well, once you click install, it will ask you to either write in your Apple ID password uh, for it to install or a face ID uh, or face ID. That's just for security purposes.